But thank you, everybody. This is such a huge crowd, so we're all very humbled. I would like to call up here Mayor Stan Zillis of Mount Arlington, Chairman of the Lake Pacong Commission, Ron Smith, Mayor Will Susan of Jefferson Township, and Mayor Francis of Pacong Borough. If all of you, yeah, join the club. Hello. Hello. Wow. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna, slimming, slimming out of focus. Please. We're all gonna sit up very, very straight. <laughs> um, just going to pass the microphone to the left, and we're gonna keep going down this line. They'll share some thoughts with you, and uh, again, thank you for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Eric Will Susan. I am the new mayor of Jefferson Township. I just took office in January. I'm a lifelong resident here in Jefferson Township. Uh, I was in the police department for 31 years, served as uh, deputy chief of police when I retired about two and a half years ago. Uh, also served as the president of the Lake Shawnee Club, which is one of Jefferson's largest uh, communities, lake community, 83 acre lake. Um, so stormwater management and lake management has certainly been something that's been near and dear to, to me um, as a resident of Lake Shawnee and president of the club. And uh, so it was nice, to, I'm glad that the uh, lead conservation voters could come here to Jefferson. Just want to say welcome to Jefferson and uh, welcome to our beautiful uh, Camp Jefferson Lodge. Uh, it's a township facility and um, we're, we're, we're proud of uh, the history here. It was called once Camp, Jeff uh, Camp Clifton, uh, now Camp Jefferson. And, uh, but I just want to say uh, welcome to our community and uh, thanks for the League of Conservation Voters for putting this event on so we can learn a little bit more about uh, uh, stormwater management and water conservation and everything that goes with it. So I'll turn it over to Ron Smith, our Lake Pack on Commission Chairperson. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank you for Ron running this event to bring us some information so we all get a, a better handle on what's going on. I know everybody in this room is here for one reason, it's all about the lake and all about the quality of the water. And we're all interested, the commission is very interested. I have seven other members of the commission in the room with me this evening and uh, we appreciate it and we'll do whatever we can to support your point of view. We're, you know, we're very involved in the quality of water. We do a lot of testing. So, uh, like, thanks again for doing this. Thanks, Rod. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. This is uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, <laughs> for those, those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike Francis. I'm the mayor of Apacon. Uh, and Apacon Borough is just about, if I'm not mistaken, the entire west shore of Lake Apacon, and probably a little bit to the north. And so our lake is very near and dear to us, and we care a lot about what goes in that lake and how it gets there. And so we have uh, a very strict set of stormwater control when you want to uh, develop or build in our town. It's a, it's a pretty tough set of criteria. Our land use board, when they give, even when they do variances, they care very much about water recharge. So we talk about dry wells, we talk about uh, the 100-year storms, the 50-year storms, and, and so that, that's uh, always part of our conversation. We are cognizant of that. Uh, we care very much about what goes on to our lake and, and uh, our, our town and myself are committed to that. We work with the Lake Commission. We work with the Lake Foundation. I personally do. Uh, I didn't see Marty Kane here, but- He's here. Is he? You made it. Ah, hi Marty. And so Marty and I- Marty without Marty. Marty and I have been working on initiatives with, with, with the DEP with, with some weed control and also some issues of uh, herbicides that get put in the lake. I have a big problem with them and not a lot of people know much about it. Uh, but our last meeting with the DEP wasn't real, a real successful one. Um, what we've learned with the bureaucrats in Trenton, it, or, it's easy to say no, there's no risk in that, but we, we, won't, we won't be satisfied with that, we'll be back. But we, uh, we do care very much about the lake. We, I'm very interested in this subject. We will look further into it to see what it can bring to the town and bring to our lake. So thank you again for having me. I'm Mike Stanzillis, the mayor from Mount Darlington, New Jersey. And uh, thank you, Mayor Will Susan, for hosting this here tonight. We obviously didn't get the blue jacket. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, this is an incredibly important uh, subject. And, and before we get too far, uh, Mayor Francis uh, has introduced me some time ago to uh, the issues with the, with the, car, with the, uh, the weeds. We, you know, we need to talk about that a little bit too. The trefoil carp that I never heard of until he told me, taught me about it. And so there's a lot of education that you're going to bring to us that we need to learn about. And I'm a big fan of what we were talking about, Mike, with the, uh, the grass-eating carp. Um, this stormwater, clean water, the green initiatives thing is absolutely brilliant. Thank you. I just read through it. Uh, we've done some rain gardens. We took out a tennis court and put public gardens in those spots. Uh, we always talk about impervious coverage. How much impervious coverage are we allowed to have? And, and uh, I mean, that, that we should have in the, the non-permeable coverage, the less the better, as you addressed earlier. So this is music to all of our ears, and mine especially. So the, the only issue that I want to hear about and talk about is the the tax associated with it or the fees, okay? So we, us guys here, we have to walk down the, that line of, you know, residents, their pocketbooks, and the economic engine that drives this region is that big lake out there. We need that lake to be extremely healthy. We need our residents also to feel that we are living in the highest tax place in the world. Because right now, you know, New Jersey is one of the highest tax places in the entire country. And it's my personal goal to get, get us off that bubble. So I love what we're talking about. I think we can do this, but I'm not so certain about a tax on this. That's my opinion right now. But I really want to thank you. Let's get more education when we can, okay?